Hello and welcome back to another week of studio vlogs. We're starting out a little different today. I am out on my morning walk and just trying to get some exercise in because I'm feeling very frustrated. So I took the weekend off from vlogging just so I could really focus in on getting work done and stuff like that. Hi kitties. Um, and I got a lot of stuff done and I'm very proud of myself. A lot of it was like learning new things and how to grow my business and things like that, which I will talk about a little bit later, maybe in a few minutes. But um, this morning I went to go film Wednesday's video and the sticker kit I had made for it, the boxes were too short by like an eighth to a quarter of an inch, which is a lot. And I don't know how I'm really good at measuring stuff usually, so I'm really frustrated. So I have to go fix those. I still have to edit today's video. So Monday's um, video and I got a late start because my cat woke me up at 4 and I couldn't fall asleep till like 5.30 so I figured I'd take some of that frustration and go exercise, get out, get some sunshine before I am trapped in my office and can't do anything. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. That's why we are out and about. And yeah, so I hope your Monday is going better than mine. Not that it's really bad. I'm really glad that I caught the mistake before like I sent it to like a customer because that would be more embarrassing. Um, and it's just really bad, so. I am glad I caught that and I'm gonna go fix that after I get done with this walk. Hey guys, so today has been, I had, after my walk, I took a shower, I got the video up, um, did some other things, I fixed the kit and then I ate lunch and my stomach has not been okay since. And now I have a kitten who is just driving me nuts. I gave her some catnip, so it's kind of my own fault. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. Oh, yes, I'm talking about you. Miss biting everything, miss biting my legs while I'm filming videos. <clears throat> Anyways, so I started filming that video <clears throat> I wanted to film, and yeah, so now I need to do some other stuff, but it is so late in the day now, I feel like my day is over, um, so I really didn't get everything I wanted to get done today, but that's okay, like, there's still lots of hours in the day she's chewing on, she's chewing on everything right now, she's in that phase. She's still got TVs coming in, so you know what, babies? You still got TVs coming in. we would have a little bit of a real talk chat. Um, if you can hear my fan, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna set you here. I'll find you a place to set you. And we're gonna have a little bit of a real talk here. So my shop in the last year and a half has not been doing well. It wasn't doing real great um, last year, but it was still pretty steady. It was definitely a growing year for me. And then I switched from Etsy to my own um, website. 
and that kind of tanked things for a little while and I get it because people that don't know you aren't willing to spend money with you but that's why I always say use PayPal because that's going to give you the same kind of protection plan or protection as a buyer that Etsy will but also Etsy does a lot of like promoting for you um but the fees were just getting to be ridiculous for me so that's why I opened up my own shop um website and things were going okay and then we moved in January and <clears throat> I was still doing okay I had to cut back a little bit and couldn't post as much and all that kind of stuff um and then we started the reno and all of COVID happened now I don't think COVID has really stopped people from shopping that can especially in the planner community um but I wasn't able to put in the effort and the amount of stuff into my shop to get it doing what it needed to be doing and so <clears throat> The shop has kind of like fallen off the face of the earth. It's definitely the worst year I've had in five years. My five year anniversary is October 6th and it's definitely the worst year. The best was probably two years ago, which is why last year was kind of a surprise because I had like my best year and then I had a really bad year. Um, but anyways, so I have signed up for the Planner Boss um, Academy and it is with Chrissy and she used, or she owns she still owns it's it used to be a physical sticker shop but now she is um a printable shop but pretty on paper co I used to buy from her all the time I loved her stuff she's really great she has a YouTube channel which I will link down below which is confessions of a girl boss and her videos are really informative and helpful and they've been helping me out a lot and I've seen a lot of big changes happen just from like doing some minor things. So I joined her little academy um, thing in six weeks. It starts September 28th and it's kind of like my last ditch effort into making this a viable business. Um, I don't want to close my shop. I don't want to close our doors. Um, I want to grow and share my stickers with everybody, but um, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I feel like I'm doing all the things and there's just like one little thing and we're trying to make it connect like this and I keep doing this and missing. So there's something and I know it and so I'm really excited for this and I'm really hopeful and I will take you along with my journey um I won't necessarily you know I'm not going to give you tell you what I've like learned like oh you need to do this because that's that would be stealing in a way you know f from Chrissy um but yeah um I will definitely be sharing with you like how it goes and things like that and yeah, I'm just really hoping and praying that things go well um, because it is very frustrating to spend literally like any amount of time, but especially 20 to 60 hours a week and nothing happened, you know, um, but that will never stop me from planning. Like if I have to end up closing my shop, that doesn't mean that I won't stop designing. It doesn't mean that I won't stop um, planning or I still have will have all of that stuff my friends would still get stickers because they get stickers for me um, but I just wouldn't have like an actual I would do it for me again which if you didn't know that's how I started <clears throat> um, five years ago I was the planner community was pretty new um, glam planner hadn't even opened her shop yet um, she opened hers in like November, I think it was, or a couple weeks after me, or it was around the same time, but I remember mine was first. Um, and there weren't a lot of shops, like I was saying, and I was started making stickers for me because I couldn't afford at the time to buy from other people. And I also, there weren't really that many people doing kits and I wanted a kit like that I could use for the whole week. Um, 
and some of the people that were making quick kits, the stuff was selling out so fast that I just, I it wasn't worth it to me. Like I couldn't get it. So I started designing them for myself. And then my friends were like, hey, can we get them? And I was like, sure. And then they're like, you really should sell these. And that's how um, Butterfly Planner kind of got started. But yeah, I'm not coming on to like complain about anything. I have loved every second of my journey and it's happened for reasons that it's happened. And why I'm telling this to you is because I want you to see like the true reality of what things are like I think a lot of the studio vlogs that I'm seeing they're from shops that are very already well established and doing really well and so you're seeing them do really well which is awesome but my shop's not doing it like that um I was a fairly established shop but I never made more than four figures I never hit the five figures so um, but it did definitely help a lot in my income over the years. So anyways, um, that is what I kind of just wanted to like be real with you guys for a minute because it's not all roses and sunshine and happy things <clears throat> all of the time. And it is hard to stay motivated when one, there's so much stuff going on in your real life you know, your just day-to-day -day life, and then your work life just is not going the way you envision it going, so yeah, um, but it is Thursday evening now, so I'm going to close out this vlog, studio vlog, I know it's a little different, there wasn't a lot of work this week, I have a friend coming into town in a couple weeks, and from California, and so we're really pushing to get the house ready, um, and we're going to be starting painting soon, which I'm really excited for, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of things you want to see me doing in the vlogs. Like, do you want to see me drawing? Do you want to see me doing orders? Um, planning out my Instagram or socials? Like, what kind of things do you want me to be doing? Like, what do you want to see? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Have a great week. Bye.